Come on. Gotta get bit out of here. Oh, instantly. As soon as I got in that spot, I got thumped. I think he's got it. There we go. That's a good fish. Oh my god, that's giant. That is a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Good morning. Welcome. Today's video, oh man, I'm so excited about today's video. I love when I get to challenge John. He's going down. We're doing a 1v1. You guys love it. I love it. John doesn't love it. That's okay. We're making him do this. First one to catch five smallmouth, any size, wins. We're going to a little creek that we uh, made another video at where we did like kind of the fish trapping. We're going to that creek. We're going to try and catch smallmouth now. And that's the plan. Another beautiful morning here in Maine. Favorite place to be. Let's do it. Eric is just one of those kids that can't fish for fun. He's got a he's got a challenge. He's got a, it's got to be a competition. So we're doing a challenge apparently. First one to five fish. Is it any fish, or is it just smallmouth? I'll I'll just take that as it's just five smallmouth. Um, but the thing is, is you know the funny thing is, is he wants to do this challenge, and uh, he doesn't have any lures. He doesn't have any rods. Doesn't have any line. No reels. So he's just gonna bum all my stuff and then basically use it against me. How does that work? I don't really get that. But anyway, I'm getting some, some gear situated right now. We got some little tiny jerk baits. Got some little flies. Got some, what is this? Little floating jerk bait. Got some mini bangers too. Look at this little number. Oh, small mouth candy. This is a creek slayer. Don't sleep on it. I think that's probably good to get us started off with. I might let him use some of this, not all of it. The loser, here's what the loser has to do, you ready? You have to eat the dog food. No way. Off the road. No way. Yep. Yeah, dog dude, no yeah. way. Are you serious? We gotta do something disgusting and gross. Okay, so here's my question though. Okay. I was just telling the viewers this. So you're basically, you wanna do a challenge and use all my lures. No, right? no, I have my lures. Well, you got your own stuff? Yeah, did you check the back of my truck? What about that rod? I got my own rod too. This rod right here, this dog, this is mine. Yeah, what about that big one? What do you think about that? That's mine too. Uh, you gonna use that on the creek? No, I have my own gear. You better. Okay. Don't, you're not touching I know you did some little segment over there you're where you're making fun it. of all my gear. I have gear. I wasn't making fun of it, I was just talking. Yeah. Well. <laughs> We're at the creek now. This is where it begins, this is the Kanduska Extreme. Known for, I mean, I used to be known for lots of brook trout and uh, trout in general and salmon, but over the years it's kind of turned into a small fishery. Perrick and I are going to go head to head right now in a little 1v1. First one to five smallmouth wins. We're doing smallmouth, not fish. Because there's, there's fall fish in here, dude. You can catch them like this. That's okay. It's dumb. Fall fish are, ugh. Fall fish are kind of like you if it was a fish. People want to see the species, man. I'm all about the species. I'm all about okay. the multi species. Okay, you can catch as many fall fish as you want. Multi species. But they angler. don't count. I'm an angler by they trade, dude. I'm not a smallmouth angler. All right? They don't count. They don't count. Just let me know how it is, Alex. I'm sorry, man. I see them out there. Wait, so there actually used to be trout in here? And it's just... Yeah. It doesn't look like it can hold that, that sort of species. Smallmouth can pretty much live in anything, which is... Let me rephrase that. Smallmouth can pretty much live in anything that has running current. Like, it's super shallow. It couldn't just be in like a small little dish pond because it doesn't have current. But this current here is probably going to have some smallmouth in the backs of these pockets. And I'm going to win. I'm a little, uh, he doesn't know I have any net heads. I'm throwing a little net head on right now. I'm going to throw a rattle in net. Do you have any jig heads for me? No, I have none. Do you have none? No, what are you looking for, like a net head? Yeah, like a net head. I don't have any of those. My buddy Cole might have some. Yeah, what'd you find there? Oh. Is that a nether? Where'd you find that? I forgot to see it. My pocket. Wait, did you just take my. Where are those? Oh, these are mine. Those are mine. I grabbed those. <laughs> off. <off. laughs> Where'd those rattle and nets go that were in the door? I have no idea, man. Oh, you have them. No, no, these are all mine. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. No. 
No, you have a box full of baits, Alex. I We're mean, not doing this, man. If this is a competition, I'm not sharing. You know, if you want to fish for friend, like friendly little whatever, no, man, no. That's not how this rolls. Oh, God. Johnny, so me. No, you know what? I'm just unfair. If he wants to go head to head, he's got to earn this. This has become my go to smallmouth setup. It's this little hard hash jig by Catchco with a little rattle and nudge. And this is literally all you need to catch fish in a small pond or a small river all the way up to the Great Lakes. Right here, bro. here we go. Looks good. I actually see a fish right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just got crushed. Oh my God. All right, guys, we've got this beautiful creek. I'm actually gonna try and make it down to that little pool there. This is right by a bridge, gets fished heavily. That's where John and Cole are fishing. So I'm making my way down there. I see, I don't know, you kind of read the river where it bends there. There's gonna be a little slack pool and should be some fish in it. Oh, big small, it's just spooked off right there. Oh, there he is, he's right there. There's two of them, there's two of them. Oh, wow. Didn't want it, just a little spooky. You think it went up here, oh, that's, that's the spot right there. Oh my God, I got eaten immediately. Wow, there, there's some fish over there. I'm on, good fish. No, he came off. <gasps> no, that was a good smallie. He's back on, oh my God, came off again, what the hell? Oh my God, there's some fish over there. How did I whiff so hard? That's not good, that's not good. No, 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 no. No, I whiff. Wow. Oh, this thing is shallow. Oh wow, I just missed one. Got him, oh, I missed him again. Oh, he's got it. Smalley number one. I'm gonna be quiet though. I'm not gonna say anything. So, John's fished here before. He went upstream to the right. Eric's never fished here. He went downstream to the left. Down here, it's like a lot of shallow pools that like aren't as deep. And then the way John's going, there's some deeper pools. And John's fished here before, and he wore them out up there. So I don't know. I think John has the upper hand here. Probably gonna take the dub. Eric, he he comes clutch in competitions, but he just doesn't know what he's doing. So we'll see what happens. Got him. Let that bait go in his hole. No! Idiot. Oh, there he is. There's a good small moth. Oh no, it's a freaking fall fish. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, wrong species. Not what we're after. Came up like a smallie. Thought it was for sure a small moth. Just a fall fish. See you later, Bubba. Fish on, fish number two. Look at that. Wow, it's crazy how small and how shallow these fish are. I mean, it's not about the size though in this competition. Just trying to catch as many fish as possible. Oh, another one. Oh, I missed him. Oh. Come on, gotta get bit out of here. Oh, instantly. As soon as I got in that spot, I got thumped. I think he's got it. There we go, that's a good fish. That is a good smallmouth. Oh my God, that's a giant. That is a giant smallmouth, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, for this creek, that's a big one. On a little ultralight 5.6. That's a good fish, dude. Good fish, wow, on the rattle of the Ned. How legendary is this? Oh my God, that's a good one. <laughs> that is so sick, it's a good smallie. Hell yeah. That is what we came here for, man. Hopefully we can get him in. He might just barely be hooked. Oh, come here. Oh, wow, he's pissed off. He's mad. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. Oh, that's a good smallie. That's a good smallie. Woo-wee! Pulling. Just pulling. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Dude, look at the size of that smallie. That's probably close to two pounds. Freaking gorgeous. 
northern maine brown bass oh my god that's legendary freaking first one of the day it's a quality one gotta love creek fishing all right smally time to send you home thank you for biting look at him oh he's worn out he gave it his all for sure just slowly swims off that's not a bad one first fish today and it's a freaking nice creaky smallmouth oh i'm pumped i'm so pumped i like this spot Oh my gosh, are those all smallmouth? Oh my gosh. Hey, found the mecca. Fish. Oh my gosh, they're just destroying bait. Smally number three. Keep him over that rock just in case he comes around. Stop it. Smally number three. I have located, oh, he took half my Ned rig. So you probably can't see this on my camera, but there's a school of minnows that have been, that are probably about one inch long with like four smallmouth just sitting under them. And I'm throwing the PB and J, peanut butter and jelly Ned rig. Oh, shit. that was a fish, hold on. Another good one, dude. Another big one. Another big one, dude. Oh my gosh, this is actually insane. There's some decent fish in here. On the rattling net, the rattling net is just putting them away. Dude, this thing feels bigger. Like, I'm not even kidding. I cannot believe this. Please be a swamp, not a giant fall fish. Oh my gosh, what the hell? This thing is killing me right now. Oh, not as big, but a good one. Definitely a good fish. Freaking another smallie. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, they're smart. He just tried to get me in the rocks. Wow, they are smart. Oh, look at the colors on this dude. Wicked cool colors. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Another smallmouth. Just all tigered up. I love when they get these stripes like this. Rather than that, just putting them away at the moment. Freaking unreal. Hopefully Perry hasn't caught one yet. See you later, buddy. Bye-bye. So it's smallmouth, it's only smallmouth. Creek chub don't count. Well, the elusive creek chub. See you, creek chub. This is just sad, pathetic, disappointing in my performance here in the 2020 John B. Fish Off. Definitely has a win by now, but we're not giving up hope. Got him. Another one. Another smallmouth. Decent one too. Fighting. Real nice like. That's number three. If I can get him in. Ah, oh, these are big fish. These are not like really, really tiny ones for a creek like this. These are quality. Look the way they fight too on this little rod. It's like the, like the most fun you can have in a creek. You just bring a little five, six rod and just doink small. He's got one behind him too. Wow, the colors, dude. The colors are ridiculous on these fish. That's number five, or number three, I can't even count. <laughs> That's number eight, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, there he goes, quick release. Number three, let's get him back, let's get another one. Oh my God, that's so sick. Come on out of there, come on out of there. It's a nice fish. Ooh. My biggest fish of the day, fish number four, rattle and net. I've been just standing on this rock, missing a bunch bunch of creek chubs and a bunch of small, smallmouth. And this little one pounder decided to come out and smash it. Oh my God, there we go. Oh, so powerful. There we go. That's fish number four. I just need one more. Just need one more. Stop moving, stop moving. You're making my life difficult right now. I need to put you back. Oh my God, stop. There's number, God bless it. Stop. There's number four. Another smallie, get back there. Get back there. Okay, Whew. I just need one more, one more fish, one more fish, one more fish, we can do this, this is easy. This is easy, hopefully Perry hasn't caught one yet. Oh my God, there we go. No! God dang it. How the hell did I lose that fish? Fish number five, take the dub. 
I've got these fish so down right now though, I want to take another cast in there. We'll release this fish. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Hey! <laughs> we just made it back. Called John up. He hung up on us. He's probably pretty mad. Last time, so 30 minutes ago we had four fish. Yeah. I find it hard to believe he didn't stumble upon a fifth, but I believe I won because I made it back to the starting point first. He probably is a couple miles up the river that way. And we're just going to wait for him to come back and pretty much end this competition. This creek's pretty cool though, a lot of fish in there. Just gotta travel a couple miles and you'll catch them. Hey, I just gave up, how many did you catch? Oh, he's on. He's on! Come on, come on, six molly. What, what number is that? This one? Yeah. Ten? You got ten. Why are you just now coming back? Because you guys called. I figured you were done. I was having fun checking fish. Yeah, get to the point. Okay, in all honesty, when you called, right after I hung up, I caught my fist one. Oh. But I've had five fish, technically, like an hour before that. I caught five small mouth. You caught five small? I caught them, like, probably 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago? Yeah. And then we walked back here. I walked. Who knows, who knows who won then, man? You, kind of close. But you said you caught your fifth one after you got off the phone with Cole, and I was already back here calling you. I don't know, man. You just admitted that you lost. I don't know. I'm not so sure about this. How big is your base? Uh, pound. How about Ooh. yours? I feel like it's going to have power, bro. Really? Yeah. Nice. On that, nice. Yeah, I think you won that. I lost. I lost my fifth fish so many times. I suck. Barrick won again. This video makes you look really bad, dude. Why? Because you're screwing with me in the drive through putting shaving cream on me, talking so much about how you're going to win. You lose. I know. When, did I, ever, when did I ever say it was going to win? And you lose. That just doesn't look good for you, man. I'm so sorry, man. The John B. brand is going downhill. I'm so sorry, bro. Would you, would you like a hug? Do you, want some, do you want some TLC, bro? You need some TLC. You need to be in a better mood. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Guggen Squad. Um, he is not eating the dog food. I'm not eating the dog food. That's grody. Okay. Bro, it's been there overnight. Play, play the clip of me eating it yesterday. Bro, there's magnums. You did not just do that. You're foul, bro. You're so foul. You're so gross. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Coogan Squad. We will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Love. People.